That's correct, you read the title of this video correctly, and I'm here to show you why. Have you ever noticed when you're enchanting your items, you always get this simple method by taking an item, adding a book, and seeing the cost of the item. Have you noticed that it always subtracts that from your current level, instead of XP value? No? So after calculating all the XP values that each level holds... Oh man... 69 boys, 69. Oh my god, numbers, numbers, numbers. By the way, I'm using the 1122 pack mod pack, in case if you're wondering. Here's the visual presentation of how much XP you actually need to apply mending book, which costs two levels, onto an item. And it's around 16 XP. However, the more levels you have, the more actual XP you burn out for no reason. Because what Minecraft does is it subtracts two levels from your current level that you have. So I was wondering, as a games developer, why? Why this system is so dumb. Now before I start, of course, first we need to understand how Minecraft actually deals with the XP system. But don't worry my dear viewer, I went through all the math myself. So you could sleep well tonight. So as you already noticed, I have listed XP values according to the level of value. And if you want to check it out yourselves, I will include the whole thing in the description down below. So once I got all the values, what I needed to do now is to figure out what kind of a mathematical sequence it is. Hey, do you remember this? Or perhaps this? Or maybe this? I bet you thought that you weren't gonna need these kind of things in your life, but here we are. Now, I'm going to quickly show you how I figured out the Minecraft XP system sequence. <coughs> so, I took the five first numbers from the XP list, specifically these numbers, and then I checked what is the difference between all of them. And that already showed me that it's not arithmetic sequence! Because when it comes to arithmetic sequences, the difference number is always the same. Also, it is not a geometric sequence because the difference numbers are not multipliers. Which leaves us with... Quadratic sequence! Because when we check a second tier number difference, we get a same repeating number. That's great and all, but... We're not done. You see, the cool feature about Minecraft XP system is that it's potentially infinite. By taking the original formula and first three numbers, set up three equations. Subtract first one from second one and second one from third one. Then we're gonna subtract the results again, first one from second one, and we will find what number is behind number A. Then we can take one of the result formulas, apply A into it to discover what the B is. And finally, to get the number C, take the very first equation that we created with number 7, apply the numbers, and we will get the C answer. Now that we got A, B, and C, apply it to very original formula, and we will get the formula that Minecraft is using. Now that we got the formula, I decided to recreate this whole system in Unity, because I'm such a C-sharp So to showcase you everything, I just cooked up this super amazing UI, just a canvas with two text objects. One is for level, one is for XP. And this is where the magic happens. I can just put any more values for XP, and it will display correct amount. I'm gonna check, it's 40, so it's... Uh, uh, uh oh. Apparently, the values further on didn't match. But then I decided to do some research and I found this Minecraft wiki. Turns out that it's even more messed up. But it looks like I was correct for that first part, n square plus 6n. But it seems that they decided to slap extra stuff when it goes further, plus extra more. Feels good to know that all the time was wasted. Ah, okay, time to recode. And I believe I'm gonna run it again. <laughs> <laughs> Not capsulate things then, I guess. Okay, so now it works. I mean, good, I guess. 
It shouldn't be eight. Come on, it shouldn't be eight. Why are you giving me eight? What is wrong with this math in this? Why are you not mathing? <laughs> Okay, so first of all, just make sure you do research before you start these kind of videos. Either way, I took these formulas, reapply it into my code. So in terms of XP, we're gonna perform a calculations according to Minecraft's XP system. First gap is between 0 and 16 levels. Second gap is from 17 to 31. Third one is 32 plus. And that's how we get the level value from the XP value. Turns out that Minecraft does not have a consistent progression. As you can see, there's a progression curve, which is a good thing. The higher levels will take more time to grind up. Either way, we have it working, so this is how the current Minecraft system works, pretty much. We're gonna take the current level and just minus the passing level. And I set it up as 2, and once we're gonna perform the subdivision, calculate the XP. The first one is the equation that we have, then from 16 to 31, then another equation, and that's how it works, pretty much. Run the test, currently I have it set on 18,000 XP. So we have 79 levels, we're gonna check the table that we have, yep, it's in between the 79 and 80, and if I'm gonna press arrow key up, it will turn to level 80, and now, if I'm just gonna get up to 100, somewhere around here, if I'm going to press space, level subdivision will happen. <coughs> Instead of losing 16 XP for the mending that would cost, you lose chunks and chunks of XP. To me personally, this just doesn't make sense. Picture this. You pull up to the store, and inside that store you find a perfect loaf of bread. Let's just say it costs 2 bucks. Now, when you go to buy this bread, and you have the exact amount of currency on yourself, you will be fine. But God forbid you have more than 2 because then the cashier is going to pull this on you. Think of it of a tax, but the more money you have, the more you lose. And it's something called... SCAM! So now that you know how the Minecraft XP system functions behind the scene, ignore the insides, it's just, I'm, I'm still building things. Um, anyways, here's what I would do if I was assigned to potentially fix or change their XP system, because I have quite a few good ideas that could make the game a little bit more challenging to play, while it would give the game itself a little bit of a more grind. Because as you may know, XP comes very, very easy when you find a random mob spawner and you can just farm the creatures and get the XP. So here is the first method that I concocted in here, which is called XP subdivision based system. Instead of subdividing the levels themselves, we're going to subdivide the XP values instead. This system will allow you to pay consistent price of XP. What potential changes it could bring? The level itself can be used as a boolean. So for example, if you want to apply a mendic book cost you at least 500 XP and you would probably would have to be a level 25 just something like that so the code itself can remain the same to give you extra couple of days to your two week session in Minecraft it would slow down the progression but not too much and the best part about it it can be very customizable and to show it how it would work put in 5000 XP as I said it would take away points instead of taking two levels this method would be a lot more consistent Nice. And that's the first method. So my second method would be a new level based system, which is a lot more simplified. And in this system, you gain every level per 800 or 500 XP. What could this system change? Very easy to balance and customize, more consistent as well. Full enchantment, I would say, would cost from 10 to 15 levels. This would slow down the XP progression system. Enchanting would be a lot more pricier. The books themselves could become more optional rather than just gambling with the enchantments. Name tag system would completely change. I was thinking more of using the ink. It won't cost anything and then when you have the name tag then you can just apply the name with item for free. That would also make the ink kind of uh, more valuable. You can probably implement the colors as well into the name tagging so you could probably just take name tag plus random color and make the text color that color and then again 
the whole XP gathering would become more of a journey and that could potentially give you a whole week to your two week Minecraft session. I think that this method is very solid. Instead of using floats you can just use integers. And of course the best part about this level system is that once you subdivide things from the levels themselves you still get to keep the same amount of score that you had just the level number gets affected. It's a lot cleaner, you don't lose anything. I think this would slow down the progression and it probably, in my opinion at least, would make the game a little bit more fun to play. Enchanted books would become more valuable and it would feel a lot better to gather them. So I think this system would drastically improve the current Minecraft system that it has. But hey! I'm just some random schmuck that has some opinions that no one cares about. But more on serious note, the whole point of this video was to show you how Minecraft system basically steals XP from you. Not only it's inconsistent, the more levels you have in Minecraft, the more XP you lose pretty much. Now I just want you to know that this video is not an attack on the developers themselves. It's more of a like a fun, constructive feedback type of video, if that makes sense. My whole goal was to deconstruct this whole mechanic and show you how it actually functions and just learn from it. I've been playing Minecraft for years and I believe that I have the right to criticize this game from the game's development perspective. So the point that I want to make is that XP system isn't that bad, but it can be improved. And that is my message. So leave a comment down below. What do you think about this whole thing? Do you think if I'm making fair point or I sound stupid? All opinions are welcome. I'm very curious to see what you guys think. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned quite a lot from this video, or at least this video entertained you in some form or way. My name is Elliot Greenwood, and with that, I wish you a very good day. I'll see you in the next video. Quacklers. Quacklers. Small tiny creatures.